Waves have always hindered progress. But now there's a new approach. It's not really a boat, and it's not a plane either. Its full title is a ram air ground effect craft. Air passing underneath lifts it from the surface of the water. It was designed by West German engineer G.W. Jorg. His concept was for a safe, fast and economical craft that filled the technical gap between boats and planes. On his home drafting board, he perfected his winged boat which would skim the seas. It was very much a home-based enterprise. Design work in the house, construction in the workshop. While the Russians were pouring vast resources into developing similar ground effect craft, Mr. Yorg was piecing his together in a suburban garage. Without the money to develop a series of full-sized craft, the design was perfected on scale models. Den 2 Kubikzentimeter Motor draufsetzen und hier einen Ausschnitt machen für die Funksteuerung. Only when the scale models were operating perfectly could a full-size prototype be rolled out for testing. This small two-seater is no more difficult to handle than a sailing dinghy. With its wings folded up, it compactly fits onto a trailer for towing. Not being a free-flying vehicle, it doesn't have to fulfill aviation standards. So it can be constructed at substantially lower cost than an aircraft. Maintenance costs, too, are closer to those of a boat than a plane. Where boats have lost out to air travel has been in speed. Modern ships still average only about 20 miles an hour. But a ground effect craft like this is capable of matching a car for speed. The designer claims speeds of between 55 and 110 miles an hour. So now we'll be capable of the sustained speeds over water that we're used to on the highways. The ground effect craft appears to combine some of the virtues of motoring, flying and boating. To date, the hovercraft offers one solution to making sea travel more competitive. By lifting itself out of the water, it achieves greater speed. But the mechanics of creating a cushion of air are complex. Also, with engines to provide lift and forward propulsion, the hovercraft needs a lot of fuel. The closest in design to the ground effect craft is the modern hydroplaning speedboat. At speed, its shape creates a flow of air beneath it, which lifts it up and out of the water. But it's a craft for sport. The ground effect craft is a design for more serious purposes. The designer hopes that this will be the new means of transportation for short distances over water. The two wing-like structures on either side of the craft not only give it lift, but also stability. For low maintenance and simple repair, construction is of fiberglass. Fittings are of rust-free material and laminated into the structure, so it's quick and easy to assemble. Larger craft would be constructed in aluminium. The shape was determined after tests on models in a wind tunnel. The tests not only sought speed in the air, the twin wings act as built-in buoyancy tanks. Despite its raft-like profile, it's claimed to be very stable when at rest in rough sea. It doesn't take long to prepare the craft for the water. Launching is the same for any other boat except that its flat shape makes it simpler to slip into the river. Being a stable platform, it's also easy to board and work on.
The advantages of ram air ground effect craft are now being recognized. Speed is obviously a major attraction. But today, another consideration is even more important. This craft is miserly on fuel. It's claimed that it uses 80% less fuel than a boat of similar size. This is the result of pushing through air rather than water. A pusher propeller provides the power and an aircraft style rudder the steering. At slow speeds, the craft handles like a boat. In testing, the designer has made many runs on the Rhine River near his Frankfurt home. Once the craft has taxied into a clear channel in the center of the river, it's time to show its paces. achieved by these craft has led the Russians to examine their military potential. Russian research is well advanced and may lead to high-speed skimming warships within the next two to three years. One Russian plan is for a giant craft dubbed the Caspian Sea Monster. It has a span of 40 meters, a length of 91 meters and a high-speed potential of 300 miles an hour at 30 feet above the sea. Its payload would be similar to that of a jumbo jet. So. Meanwhile, Mr. Yorg is pushing ahead with production of much more modest craft. The successful prototype has led to the design of a four to six seater model. This goes into production shortly in Poland. It's hopefully the beginning of a complete range which could be used for a variety of purposes. Larger examples like this would skim higher above the waves and be able to tackle more open water. This model is of a 32-seater aluminium craft which would be capable of crossing the Mediterranean Sea. So one day we may all be able to experience the exhilaration of skimming waves at speed.